in section one two we are um, we're looking at uh, algebraic expressions and two things that we want to emphasize in this lesson we want to do what is known as evaluating evaluate algebraic expressions and that simply means to take an expression and simplify it to where we just have a single number answer. And then the second part of the lesson is we'll be simplifying expressions by combining like terms. Okay, so there's really a two part process to simplifying or evaluating an algebraic expression. We're first going to substitute for the variables and then we're going to follow the order of operations. All right, so for this first example, I'm going to let x become 4 and y is going to become negative 2. So that is the substitute part. And now I'm going to follow the order of operations. I'm going to look for operations within parentheses first. And I don't have any operations within parentheses. So now I'm going to look for exponents. And in this particular case, we don't have exponents either. So now we're going to look for multiplication and division from left to right. So I see multiplication here. I see multiplication here. Okay, so I've taken care of the two instances of multiplication, and now I don't have any division, so I'm going to do all adding and subtracting from left to right. And remember, subtracting a negative number is the same thing as addition. So I have 20 plus 4, and same thing here, subtracting negative 2 is adding 2, and my final answer is 26. Okay, let's take a look at another one of these types of problems. Uh, substitute first, and so we're going to let x become 4, and we're going to let y become negative 2. Okay, follow the order of operations. There are no parentheses, operations within parentheses. There are no exponents, so we can mark those off. So let's look for multiplication and division from left to right. Okay, so I have multiplication here. So that becomes 8. And I think I'm just going to do this one move at a time. Okay, and now I've got division. So 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. All right, and I've still got multiplication here. And so then that becomes. 4 plus negative 4, just rewriting. And if you subtract negative 4, well, that's the same thing as adding 4. So we get to our final answer, which is 4. All right, same thing here, uh, beginning with example number 2. It's just that now we're going to be including exponents. We didn't have those before. We still substitute. So we have negative 3 squared and subtracting 5 squared. Be careful here because when you square C, C is negative 3, and when you square negative 3, you get 9 minus 5 squared, which is 25. And simplifying this, you get your final answer is negative 16. All right, again, C is negative 3. D is 5. And going back to 
PEMDAS. We're going to do operations within parentheses first. So the first thing I'm going to do is 3 minus 5, which is negative 2. All right, we'll come up here. And we've done that. Now I'm going to do the exponent. And subtracting, notice, negative 3 squared is 9. Okay. Now I'm looking for multiplication or division. And I have multiplication. Negative 3 times negative, three times negative 2 is 6. And then that takes care of those. The only thing left is subtraction. And my final answer is negative 3. One more in this section. Substitute 5 for D. And negative 3 for C. I think it's a good idea. Notice how I'm putting the numbers that substitute in for variables. I'm putting those numbers in parentheses here. I think that's a good idea. It, it helps some people to not make those easy, simple mistakes. All right, so according to PEMDAS, I'm looking for operations within parentheses first. So let's focus on what's going on in here. And within the parentheses, we still need to follow PEMDAS. So in the parentheses, I've got multiplication and I've got subtraction, but multiplication comes first. So I'm going to do 5 minus negative 6. All right, let me erase this. And I'm still looking in the parentheses and 5 minus negative 6 is 11. Okay, so we've simplified in the parentheses. We've done the P part of PEMDAS. Now let's do the exponent. So be careful. This does not say to square negative 5. It says to square 5 and then change it to negative. Or we were talking today in class how it really means multiply it by negative 1. So 25 times negative 1, that's negative 25. OK, now we're down to multiplication and division. We have multiplication. And now we have add, subtract, left. And our final answer is negative 69. All right, number three, um, let's simplify. X is negative three. Y is negative five. X again is negative three. Y is negative five. All right, PEMDAS. Uh, let's take care of operations within parentheses. Multiply comes before subtract. Negative 9 and minus negative 5 is plus 5. Multiply comes before subtract. 2 times negative 3. And you can leave it as plus negative 5 or you could change it to minus 5. OK, still working on operations within parentheses. This is negative 4. This is negative 11. OK, don't have any exponents, but I do have multiplication left two times. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. Minus 2 times negative 11 is negative 22. Subtracting a negative is addition. Negative 20 plus 22 
is 2. Okay, that takes care of the first part of our lesson. And the second part is probably going to be quite a bit easier, I would imagine. It's going to involve simplifying algebraic expressions by combining like terms. And you remember from Algebra 1 that like terms means that uh, two terms have the same variable. And we'll take it one more step. Those variables have to also have the same exponent. So you can see an easy example. These two terms are like, but these are not because they each do not have y to the second power. Okay, so when we do combine like terms, we're going to operate with the coefficients. And hopefully you remember from Algebra 1, coefficients are the numbers in front of the variable. That's what we're going to be operating with uh, when we combine like terms using addition or subtraction. So here's some quick examples. If you combine 2y plus 3y, you get 5y. 4x squared minus 10x squared is negative 6. And notice the variable x squared stays. We operate with the coefficients. All right, uh, simplifying this last expression, I'm going to start with the highest exponent first. So if you combine negative 5x squared minus 3x squared, you would get negative 8x squared. And if you combine 2x plus 4x, you would get plus 6x. And that would be the simplified answer after combining like terms. Okay, so let's try a few. Letter A, I'm going to start with all of my x squared terms. So 2 minus 4 minus 1. Remember, there's an invisible 1 here. So 2 minus 4 is negative 2, and negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3x squared. Okay, if you want to, you can then mark those off if you're writing the problem down. And then our x terms, we have a coefficient 5 plus coefficient 1. 5 plus 1 is 6x. And that's as far as you need to go. Uh, I would like for you to write these in standard form. We'll talk more about that later. But standard form has the highest variable for the uh, highest exponent for the variable first. And then you just work your way down in order. So exponent 2, exponent 1. Okay, um, here we have grouping symbols. So before we combine like terms, we need to, as my note says, you need to remove parentheses first. And usually that's going to mean applying the distributive property. So remember, uh, the distributive property works like this. I'm going to take this factor, negative 2, and I'm going to multiply by every term inside the parentheses. So negative 2 times r is negative 2r. Negative 2 times s is negative 2s. This also is going to be an application of the distributive property, but I'm going to be distributing negative 1. So think of negative 1 times each of these. Negative 1 times 2r is negative 2r. Negative 1 times 2s is negative 2s. And now that we've removed the parentheses, we can combine like terms. So the r terms together, negative 2r minus 2r is negative 4r. And then the s terms, negative 2s minus 2s is negative 4 s. And it's not going to be wrong if you don't do that, but it's typical for us in algebra when there's more than one variable involved. Uh, we typically, if they're all the same exponent, uh, we typically just write them alphabetically. 
So uh, let's do letter C. Distributive property y times 1 plus y times y. y times y is y squared. Bring down minus 3y squared. And again, much like we did in this problem, we're going to be distributing negative 1 to both of these terms. So negative 1 times y and negative 1 times 1. All right, now combine like terms. Start with the y squared terms. So this is 1y squared minus 3y squared. It's negative 2y squared. The y terms will actually cancel each other because y minus y is 0. And then all that's left is this constant, negative 1. Okay, that would be your final answer. And that is it. That was today's lesson. And um, I want you to do the, the A just stands for all. I want you to do 1 through 8 all. And then 21 to 35 all. And we'll uh, check these out in class tomorrow. But you're welcome to uh, contact me if you have any questions.